Secretly Married Series Novel Audiobook Chapter 1 Zanaya's POV Congratulations! We high-fived everyone in the room after we finish our first recording. Today, our band, Whistle, just finished recording our debut stage. And I can't help it. I started to cry, not even if there were a lot of people, or if I looked too strange. All the feelings that I held inside started to pour out. I looked around and saw that my members were crying. Two. Finally. After many years of training in the infamous BP dungeon, we finally see the stage. My family had been patient and very understanding. When they allowed me to audition in Australia, they had been supportive ever since. When I chose to train to be an artist, even if that means leaving my family behind, they still embraced my goals and my decisions. After all the challenges and struggles I've been through, I feel like debuting is a sweet delight. I and the girls hug each other as we continue to cry. This had been our dream. We had dreamed of this together. I have been with Tokyo, Max, and California since like forever and we had spent a lot of nights staying till the wee hours, fighting the urge to sleep so we can practice our performances. We always make sure our presentation for our weekly evaluation is perfect. We've been together for God knows how long. I can't even count the times when we all cried together dreaming of when we will finally debut. But finally, here we are, fulfilling our dreams. I'm so happy, I told Max. She looked at me beaming. Me too. And we both started squealing together. Soon, even Kali and Tokyo are squealing with us. We should celebrate, Kali exclaimed. And we looked at each other as we all speak at the same time. Chicken. We all exclaimed and our manager laughed at how silly we looked like. Actually, it's Kali's favorite food but heck, one can never go wrong with chicken. Our manager then ushered us outside of the dressing room so we can all go to our favorite restaurant. Our recording is done anyway and it's already past 9 in the evening so we need to go if we want to celebrate because we have something set for tomorrow. That means we need to sleep early tonight. As we excitedly run our way on the hallway of Trinity Studios, we didn't notice a guy walking towards us until Kali halted and bowed 90 degrees. Good morning sir. Tokyo. Max and I stopped and bowed as well. Greeting our senior. In our industry, we usually call senior artists sir and ma'am. I bowed an instant without even checking who it is until I heard his voice. Hello. He greeted back a little cheerful as he bowed in return. The body refused to lift up as I remembered that I recognized whose voice it was. Max pulled me a little when I didn't move and I heard someone cough so I had to lift my head. Wrong move. Because staring at me was the guy I was dreading to see each day. Seth Devon, I had to catch my breath upon seeing him. When his eyes fell on me, I swear I saw how startled he was a little before his face became serious as he bowed again and went on his way, his eyes glued to his phone, not even looking back. Of course, what should I expect? I told to myself. Hey, Zanaya, are you okay? Tokyo asked me a little worried. I smiled at her as I reached for her hand. Of course I am. I'm just a little overwhelmed because we are finally debuting. I half squealed which she returned before our manager called us. Soon, all four of us are inside a van with our manager in the wheels as we head to our favorite place. While the girls excitedly talk with each other, my mind wandered to the guy we just bumped with earlier. Seth Devon, my husband, well, at least on paper. Welcome to download the Brava Novel APP. Read the novel Secretly Married series online and get the latest updates.